Hey everyone, this is your girl Catrice and welcome to Cocktail Hour with Catrice. I'm so excited that you all decided to join me for today's live, to click on this video and to support your girl. Okay, so let's get a few of the church announcements out the way so we can get started. Number one, go over there and check out our Patreon. That is our exclusive community where I give you all breaking news, behind the scenes information, my personal thoughts on some things that I can't say out here, um, some pictures of people's right anyway pictures that I can't post here on YouTube and uh, some other information. Okay. I also give you all a word if I get it. So I don't like to do that much, but it comes through. So I go, go ahead and give it to you over there in Patreon. Okay. Number two, you all should have gotten a text message. Okay. For, from me to you when I'm going live. So if you have not gotten a text message, that means you're not a part of the community. So go over there and text the word cocktails to 833-495-4371. It's 833 495 Four three seven one. Also, the third thing, honey, make sure that you all support this channel, okay? In a little bit, we'll help, all right, because we're trying to build something really positive over here. So check the link down below for my cash app. You can send it through PayPal, okay? Just go ahead and support your girl so that we can keep this show up and running. And last but not least, I'm a self-published author of a book, well, several actually, but... The main one that deals with this channel is called Triumph Over Adversity, Overcome Your Church Hurt. It shares with you all my personal journey of, of what got allowed to happen to me, how I ended up leaving the church, and then some of the stuff that he gave to me back then is actually happening right now. So you want to make sure that you check out that book. If you've ever dealt with church hurt, I give you all some tips on how to cope and to deal. I might have to rewrite it, but I don't know, child. This is a lot of work to write a book. I'm, I'm doing other stuff. Anyway, I cannot wait to see you all for today's show. Share me with your friends, your family, and your aunties. Okay, the aunties love cocktails. They love me. Share me with them so that they can get this good tea too. I'll see you soon. Bye. Good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you all. Happy Friday. God, can y'all believe it's Friday already, child? Oh, Jesus. Who we got in the building? We have Kwame in the building. What's going on? P and 2 Ross. I just saw you on Instagram. DJ, I hope that you're feeling well. She's in the building. And Gozi is here. Create Zeal Group. Alex. Kai Grace. I love Kai. You better be doing good in school, child. Okay. Alex and her meekness are in the chit chat. Michaela is here. Thank you all so much for coming on today. Listen, thank God. Oh, you didn't tell me it was your birthday over there on the Instagram. Girl, happy birthday, P and Two. I appreciate you. Listen, y'all, it is an amazing Friday here. Uh, let me tell y'all something. Shout out to each and every one of you all that came on the line last night. We had a very insightful conversation and we talked about uh, the situation and I came from a different place, right? We've been talking about uh, Dallas for over, it's been a year and three months since we have been talking about Dallas. And so um, last night I went live and decided to give you all, um, just to share my heart with you all about the situation concerning both Brandon Coleman and uh, Michelle Loud concerning her son, Jason, all right? And shout out to the people that have watched behind the scenes. We have had a lot of people watch uh, the live from last night. And, um, you know, I've been having some side conversations all this week. And I wanted to actually, <clears throat> the conversation that we're going to be having tonight actually took place this morning. We decided to do this this morning um, because I wanted to call and reach out to Michelle. I love her. I, see, I keep telling y'all, she is such a sweet, let me tell you, she's safe, safe. She's saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. She's more saved than I am. Y'all know why. She's saved, saved, okay? If anybody says that this woman, this young, beautiful spirit is not saved, they are delirious, all right? Um, but I decided this morning, I went live on Instagram for a little bit, and then I was driving to go pick up groceries because y'all know I'm lazy, okay? I don't like, <laughs> I don't go into no grocery store. At this phase of my life, I'm not doing it, okay? I, I might walk in and walk out, but not like walking with a list, okay? And so I ordered my groceries last night because I'm lazy. 
And then when I was driving there, I said, I had a question. So I decided to call her and normally she don't pick up, but she picked up and I was shocked because I pulled over, honey. I said, listen, we have to have a conversation. And I told her that we went live last night and I put up her uh, cash up information, which uh, my author moderator will be in later on. But it, it is in the description box down below tonight for you all to see. But I wanted to, and you all, first of all, let me go back and say, I do not do interviews. I don't do people, a whole bunch of people on the channel. I get on the live and I get off the line. <clears throat> but tonight is different. She's been on here before. Ms. Bernice is on the line. Thank you for coming in, Ms. Bernice. Happy Friday to you. That's Brandon Coleman's mom there. Uh, but tonight is different because I don't know what is going on in the spirit, but, we, but God is really impressing upon us to get some things settled in Dallas. And we're not going to stop. Uh, we're going to be doing some things behind the scenes that y'all don't need to know nothing about it, none of your business. But I wanted to bring on this beautiful soul today. And I'm not going to belabor the time because she has beautiful kids she has to tend to. Uh, she's a hey, Pert uh, tutor on Instagram. Thank you for coming in. She's an awesome spirit. And I want to just get her on so she can share her heart. I have some questions for her. OK, and we're going to allow her to uh, go on about her evening. But we have Michelle Loud in the building today. I'm so excited. Michelle, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Can you hear me clear? I can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So um, we talk really highly about you over here, about your situation. Um, the Cocktails crew loves you dearly. And uh, I know that they were not expecting this. Okay. Um, but we had our conversation this morning. She was getting ready to get her workout in y'all. And uh, so she says, you know, I said, I said, we, we went live last night. She says, well, I could have came on. And I said, well, you know what? What you going to do? What you want to do? So we decided that tonight was the night. So thank you for coming on, Michelle. I appreciate you for coming in. Um, just wanted to talk with you. Um, the chat is saying that they're praying for you and Jason. All right. So where do you want to start, Michelle? Um, thank you for coming in on, first of all. But I want to I want to know from you all, because I know some people may be new to you. Okay, mm -hmm. there are people, we go through life assuming, I know I do, that people know what's going on with us, you know, especially because we're on social media. You've been fighting for a long time. You've been fighting for, what, six years now? Mm-hmm. For six years. So yeah. if you could just briefly, you know, share with me who you are, okay? <clears throat> and why do we know this buzz about Michelle Lab? Because I remember seeing you in the car but last May, May of 2022. <laughs> you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm in the okay, what you say? I said I'm in the car right now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you need peace and quiet. I know that's right. Come on, look at her. Camera. She's gorgeous. So, so briefly, just explain to us who you are, okay? And why do we know this buzz about Michelle Lau? What is it that happened that we know who you are? Well, first of all, I am a woman of God. I am a mother of five beautiful children. Um, I am a truth seeker and a truth teller. Mm -hmm. And I am a mother fighting for what's rightfully hers. I'm honest. I think we need to... Amen to that. I think we needed to take a pause after you said that. And can you repeat that for the people that may not have heard you? Just so they can be clear as to what you're doing. Yeah, I am a mother fighting for was rightfully hers, for sure. So tell us how we got here. Um, for those of you all who are not aware, last May 2022, I know where I was when I first saw your face. And y'all might laugh in the chat. That's okay. You can laugh at me, okay? Because I was going through a whole bunch of different stresses. I was in the McDonald's parking lot. Okay, y'all don't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I was in the McDonald's parking lot, okay? I had no business being in McDonald's, getting no dang on the double cheeseburger on the app, okay? The devil's a lot. But that's where I was, okay? And I ate them fries and I listened to your story in the car, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I was in McDonald's. That's ghetto, okay? Um, <clears throat> but but I, I started to listen 
And then I cut it off about midway through because I said, I wanted to make sure that I heard you clear. And I, I wanted to be in a, in a different space when I listened to your entire video. So I did not listen to the entire thing the first way through. But all I heard was, you know, I was post, I had postpartum depression. I was depressed. And I just remember seeing your face. Just you look so downtrodden and overwhelmed. You were definitely overwhelmed at that point in time. So how did we get here? How did we get here to the point? And we want to make sure that we mention Jason. Jason is the son that she's talking about. She has custody of her four other beautiful children. But Jason right now is not in her custody. He's in the custody, hey, just Dominic, of um, Cora Jakes, formerly known as Colvin. OK, uh, we she's no stranger to the platform. We've talked about her for about a year. <clears throat> but how did we get here, Michelle? Take, take us down a little bit. You don't have to go through the whole extensive thing, uh, but whatever you care to share. How did we get to this point? Um, to break it down in its simplest form. We got here because I was a young mother in her 20s who was dealing with postpartum depression mm -hmm. or dealing with postpartum depression. I was already dealing with depression, pregnancy depression, mm -hmm. depression I was going through in life, trying to find my way, trying to find my footing, having challenges and obstacles. Um, and I had a son and I developed postpartum depression and I befriend, well, I re-befriended a friend that I've known and had been friends with since I was 10 or 12 years old. Mm -hmm. And she took advantage of where I was at at that point in my life because she could not deliver or receive what God gave me to carry in birth. And um, I was manipulated. I was put under duress and coercion, um, even forced. Because when you tell somebody, if you don't give me your son, I'm going to take him from you, that's force. And um, we got here because of power, money, and politics. Mm -hmm. We got here because people don't want to take accountability and responsibility for what they did wrong. Neither do they want to make it right. But I'm going to fight for mine. Right, right. So let me ask you this. Uh, you mentioned postpartum depression. I've never been pregnant before. I, <clears throat> my chat is fully aware that I, can no, I cannot have children. But explain to me what postpartum is and if you suffered it with any of your other children. Was that something that you was a part of your other pregnancies or was it like an isolated event? You there, Michelle? I'm there. I'm thinking. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure that you didn't freeze. That's all. No, um, I'm thinking about each pregnancy I carried, and when I think about it, I have to think about my actions that were going on during that time after having them. Mm -hmm. Identify what I know to be postpartum depression because I didn't know what postpartum depression was until after I had Jason. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I didn't have any clue, any inkling, any idea. I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't know the symptoms of it. Mm -hmm. or that I didn't find any of that out until after I had Jason, after Cora told the nurse that I was dealing with, and after they gave me this red piece of paper that I had to, it was basically like a quiz to let them know if I was dealing with postpartum depression or not. Okay. And um, yeah. So I, I I 
Take your time. There's no rush. I was 17 when I had Anaya. Mm -hmm. So I, I really wasn't like, I don't know, 17, you really don't know anything about postpartum is right and really fully understand that you've had a child so maybe i did maybe i didn't i wouldn't have known um yeah. with Jaden, i was fine i think i believe i was fine i wasn't i was emotional during the pregnancy because his father and i had broke up but I wasn't sad and depressed. It wasn't a, a bad stage in my life. Mm -hmm. after I had him. It wasn't a bad stage in my life. Cree, um, after I had Cree, I believe I probably, I believe I probably had postpartum with Cree. Is the third the third child third child okay because that's when my life started to mm. turn. so if i could identify how far back probably even just my depression went mm -hmm. um it's probably when i was Pregnant, because let me tell y'all something. I ain't never, I ain't even shared. I don't think I even shared this before. I found out that I was pregnant with Cree when I went to jail. When I was sentenced to serve 75 days in jail, but I only did three weeks because I went in there and worked. I would, I went in there. <laughs> I went in there and got and got three days for one because I jail no, but I did. I know that's right. And but um, I found out I was pregnant with Creed when I was in jail. So imagine it. Imagine being I don't know how old I was, twenty three, twenty four maybe. Mhm. Mm pregnant in jail finding out in jail mm -hmm. leaving jail you know once i got out and served my time leaving jail to come home not even to your own space not even to your own home not even to you come home living with your baby daddy's mama mm. because the baby daddy instead of taking care oh, i'm not even gonna go there Okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. Take your time. I'm not even gonna go there. But these are these uh these are the events that are happening in your life. I mm -hmm. went working at Fortune 500 companies, but because I wouldn't in essence snitch on an employee or or anybody, I ended up going to jail serving 75 days finding out i was pregnant coming out to nothing but when i went to jail i had my own place oh wow i had my own stuff you know what i'm saying right right and I think from there when my life started to change where i no longer could get good quality jobs because now I'm, I have a background. Now I'm a yeah. family. That's something Cora knew too. That's something that I told her too of my mm -hmm. strife. Right, to but, try to, and, yeah. You know, especially from my upbringing, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I watched my mom struggle to take care of us while trying to do the best that she can. Yeah. You know, I remember days where I had to wash my clothes out in the sink and hang them over the, the shower rod to dry. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. to, so to work my ass out. Mm -hmm. When I became an adult, to get to that place and then it's just everything is gone. Right, right. 
everything is gone, you know? And I think I carried that even through Creek's pregnancy. I never, I never fully recovered from that until about four, four years ago. Wow. How old is Cree? Well, I say not four. Uh-uh, I'm on the end. Hold on. <laughs> Take your time. Y'all yeah, hold on for a second. You know, she's still a mama child. She has to make sure that she takes care of the children. Y'all give her a few minutes. But isn't this amazing? And this in this statement right here that creates deals that okay. the strength of this lady is, is so true. No, we were going to give you a moment, but I was just reading the statement because she said, oh, wow, the strength of this lady. I told you they 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 ride for you over here. But go ahead. You continue. So, yes. Yeah, so um, I. I built myself up and, and that was taken. And I went through that with Cree. That's when, you know, Cree's pregnancy. I believe that's when depression hit me. If I could, mm -hmm. I, cause you know, when you go to therapy and you talk to people, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. can identify where things started for you, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I had been in a depressive state of mind since 2012. Was that when Cree was born? And around 2012? 13. James okay. was 14. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 26. Like, it was all combined to it. I didn't, I didn't, I, I wasn't catching a break. I wasn't yeah. breathing. Um, I don't think people really understand how much it affects you when you have something on your record. Mm -hmm. And if I go back and do that all again, I would have never did that. Mm -hmm. And that's when I say, when people try to say, Oh, she just blame me, blame me, don't take accountability. No, I take accountability mm -hmm. for what led me to the point where I was at. But I would never take accountability for somebody taking advantage of me and manipulating me. Right. Now, I want to make, sure make sure that they hear you. You're kind of going in and out just a little bit, so I want to make sure they can hear you clear. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You go ahead. So, and I think that's um, where the depression started, where it carried through. So, I, yeah, I suffered from postpartum depression after Creed. And it went right back into depression. Like, I don't think it ever left. Mm. So you think that after Creed carried on over to J? I was in survival mode. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine because they're only about two years apart, right? So they are ten months apart. Wow. So yeah, you didn't catch a break at all. No. No. So what about because Jason is the fourth child? So what about the like, did it carry over into your to your fifth child as well, or do you think that you went through therapy and had a handle on it by I that know, time? Damn therapy. Cora was. Cora was uh. Being my therapist. Well, I did hear that when you were on another platform. Okay, I think she went out. Oh okay, God. there you go. Okay, I, I do being, remember you saying that. Cora was being my child. I mean, and that that was the problem. Because if I would have got the help that I needed mentally first, mm -hmm. everything else would have aligned for me. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that after I think you went on another platform and we were talking about the conflict of interest, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that, you know, HIPAA policies were not in place because she's not licensed, things of that nature. My awesome yo, uh, moderator, Yobi's in the building. Hey, Yobi and Sergeant King. But um, yeah, she wasn't licensed and, and, and you really should not have not been counseling anybody, especially if you're dealing with postpartum depression. But I mean, you were under the, the under duress so how would you know? You know, you're just trying to confide in a friend thinking you're doing the right thing and she's taking it and using it against you. 
So I am vulnerable. I'm not necessarily in my right mind. Mm -hmm. I could tell you if I was coming or going, I was just trying to survive. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a clear vision. I didn't have yeah. a clear eyesight. I didn't have a clear mind for years. This wasn't something that just happened overnight. This was a continuous years of being in survival mode. When I yeah. spent years of working and being at a certain level, when I was when I was 21 years old, I was making $27.50 an hour at 21. That mm. was 2011. Wow. That's what people are making now starting off jobs in 2023. Mm. Right, right. That was detrimental to my mind, which led me to everything else. Yeah. I can imagine. And then you have children. So it's like, you know, a lot of times I'm not then a I mother. Then you have then, kids. Then, then they daddy ain't like, come on. It was just too, I'm sorry. It was just too much. It was too much I was dealing with. Yeah. And it took a toll on me. I can imagine. I can imagine. So let's let's talk a little bit about Jason because you know we had our pre-show and I, I said we wanted to make sure that we stressed. Um, of course, your mental health is extremely important. So I hope that you're getting some therapy now. And if not, therapy is a way. Listen, I go to therapy. I love therapy, honey. As a matter of fact, I go to. I wish I can go more than one day a week. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I I highly encourage therapy, and that's even for my subscribers. I tell them all the time that we are all about making sure that you're taking care of your mental health. So I hope that in the case that you do need it, that you get the help that you need, okay? And especially during this time, trying to have to, to navigate through this entire process can be difficult. Now, can you, so let's talk a little bit about Jason and, and um, when he was born, you know, uh, how, you know, what kind of baby he was when he was first born, all that good stuff. Was he a joyful baby? Playful? Jason was the epitome of happiness and joy. Okay. And every syllable. He was a good baby. Um, sorry. It's, no, take your time. Please, take your time. Don't ever apologize. We talked about this before. You all make sure that you like and share, but put some hearts in the comment section for Michelle, y'all. Because we're really, we're really trying our best. It's so to hard to support her as a baby because he was two years old when everything in court started happening. Mm. So he was still a baby. He was still a baby, you know, and he was so fat, he was so juicy, he was so goofy. Um, he followed me everywhere. He stayed up under me. I breastfed him. Mm. Take your time. We're here for you. Um, he was a, a joy. He was a baby. I remember all the memories that I have. I don't have memories from... from um, May or June of 2016. I have four memories of him in 2018. And then mm -hmm. from 2018 until now, I don't have any other than 
his birthday and being able to talk to him and stuff. Right. So he was born in 2014, and then in 20, 2016 is when things started to progress in the court system. Is that how it happened? Yeah. Okay. 2016 is when, September 2016 is when she, her, they filed um, to how to file to ask the courts to terminate my rights. <clears throat> and then from there, she gained custody of him. He was illegally adopted. And, 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 um, she knew what she was going to do because my baby was born in May, July. She was having me sign papers. At the time, I didn't know what the papers were. I didn't even find out what the papers really, what I, what I signed until I went to court in mm -hmm. every period and they had to hand over what they had. That was the mm -hmm. first time I really read what I had signed. And May 2014 is when I had Jason. July 2014 is when she's already having me sign paperwork that she's watching him, basically. Mm -hmm. And trying to set up a plan to um, how his arrangement with would go since I was trying to work and she was going to be helping me watch him. Right, right. right. I okay. remember you saying that. Like, who does that? You had it set up. So, anywho, it's not my court. But, yes, so that's it. So, when I think about him as a baby, as the toddler that I was able to even have a few moments with, like, even now, Jason even now is a very kind human being. He's a very soft soul. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very smart. He's, he's very well spoken. Mm -hmm. And it's not because of what he's been around is in his blood, it's in his DNA. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like that regardless. Right, right. Now, I, I want to stress to the audience that you've been fighting how many years exactly? Like six, seven? Because I'm not that great if, with math. <laughs> if, we, if we go by in the court setting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been fighting since 2016. Wow. So it's about eight years. Six with a six? It's about, Jason was two, he's nine. So it was about, yeah, six years. Yeah, six, seven years. Wow. Yeah, that, yeah, because he, yeah, he's nine. He passed, he, uh, he was born the same year that my mom passed away. It was seven years. It's been, it's been seven years. Seven years. Well, seven does mean completion. Well, let's hope that this that this will be the end of it. Amen. Amen. Let's hope that this is the end of it. <clears throat> now, speaking of, I wrote down some questions, but you know, I like to speak from the heart um, because this past year, now I, when I when I was preparing for today, I thought about it because I said at first I said this is the first year, right? But it's really the second year since we've actually known about the situation because we were in the dark. You know, as society, social media, in the body of Christ, we knew absolutely positively nothing. As you can see, after we found out, that is when people have been coming online and signing the clarion call. But before, we knew absolutely nothing, right? And so you were fighting a fight pretty much just you and God, just by, you know, you're by yourself on an island doing what you can. Um, but when I started to think about it, I said, this is the second year because his birthday is, well, he's a June baby, right? May. May. He's a, so he's a May. Okay. So it happened the same month. May 21st. He's May 1st. May 21st. May 21st. Okay. So he's a Taurus, right? I got it. Okay. Like my um, but, so this is the second year because I believe you came out around the 18th of May, like 21st. right before his birthday. and um. 
but this past year, and I'm stressing this because this was one of the first times you've seen him in a long time. Now, um, you know, we've been covering it here, but there are times when I miss stuff because I I can't be everywhere. So shout out to the street committee that keeps me informed. But during this particular time, his birthday was coming up and you were online saying, you know, I want to have a party for him. I know that you made plans because you wanted to spend time with your baby. You want to hug his neck. Right. And and, um, and you you put together. You said what? And I hugged his neck and I smelt him and (laughs) got out of his face. Yeah. Yeah. And so you you put together a party, which he was not able to attend, unfortunately. Um, We came live that Saturday because I didn't find out until the next morning. And then by that Sunday, you were able to go and spend time, although not at the party that you had created. God still made a way for you to see him. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about that time when you went to see him? I know you talked about it a little bit on your channel, but if you could just let us know, like, what that felt like for you to see him after so long and how was he with you? It felt so I'm gonna be honest. It felt so freeing but yet captive. Yeah. Um just like a double-sided sword. It felt okay because in my mind, I know I'm still in a fight. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I had to go in with my guards up because of what I was entering. Yeah. Um, So seeing him, if I removed all of those emotions and all of that part, being able to see him as I did on his birthday, on the day that I actually had him, Mm -hmm. it felt so good, you know? Mm-hmm. All I could do is hug him and tell him how much I loved him. And I told him I never wanted to give him away. I don't care what anybody tells you. You know, I was able to verbally say that to him. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want to leave. He didn't want to leave uh, me. He kept, like, I couldn't even go to the restroom. Where are you going? Uh, oh. no, I'm not going nowhere. You know, and uh, he was very excited about his gifts. I tried to get him everything he asked and desired for for his birthday and the list that he gave me anyway, you know. Mm-hmm. And he was just overjoyed. He was happy. I was happy. My sister went with me, so she was able to see her nephew, you know, so. um, It was a beautiful and sad moment, but I'm even grateful for that little piece, you know, because it's something that I get to, you know, um, carry and hold until I have him back because I hadn't right. seen him so long, you know. Yeah. At, at that point, how long had it been? I mean, how many years? It had been at least five, six years. Five or six years. Or four. I don't know. Somewhere between. It's 2018. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, about five years. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that for sure. <clears throat> Can you tell us what um he asked for his birthday? Because I know you he you said he gave you a list. Yeah. 
Sir, yes, because he is my child through and through. Because uh, I did list growing up. My kids li- that live with me, <laughs> they make a list out, baby. Um, mm-hmm. One is some Black Air Force ones. When I tell you, I went everywhere looking for the Black, and I found them. It took me all day, but I finally found him at the end of the day. And he wanted some blue Crocs. He wanted some V-Bucks and some Roblox. Oh, yeah, the get the video game thing? Yeah, whatever books that they had, that's what he wanted. And I gave him, I gave him, I gave him a few dollars, you know. Okay. Put some money in my baby pocket. And um, what else? He asked for a, a, a motorcycle, but it's not a, like a motorcycle. It, but it is a motorcycle, but it's for kids. I don't know. Mm-hmm. How to, but he wanted that in a in a basketball goal. Oh, so you got him all that? Well, I didn't get them. I'm still working on the motorcycle part because that was okay. a little expensive. Mm-hmm. That, that one was well, the one that I wanted to get him because, you know, I believe in I have to give him quality stuff. Mm-hmm. I still try to say, I just don't give them any room to say. Right. Anything. Right. Right. Yeah. So the one that I wanted to get him was close to almost a thousand dollars. So I've been. Oh, saying- wow. Yeah, because I'm still, I'm going to do it. I don't even care if she gets him one. I'm still going to get a one. So, yeah. You're the mama. <laughs> what? Hey, Chef Don Don. That part. So let, let me shift gears a little bit because you mentioned, and I also wrote this down, and you, you just kind of made the segue into it because <clears throat> you have five beautiful children. Jason is the fourth one. And um, one thing that stuck out to me, I watched your live stream from the day of the party that you gave to him. And um, the thing that broke my heart is I heard, you know, the kids in the back saying, he's not coming. You know, they were they were distraught. They were upset. They were hurt that he was not, you know, going to be able to um, attend the party because you had worked so hard on it. You and with your, you know, with your followers, people that donated. Um, you all work so hard on that. So, can you share with us, share with the uh, the, the the audience, how your children are doing with this whole situation? How did they, you know, how do they fare day in and day out, knowing that, you know, he he's around but he's not tangible to them. He, he they can't play with him. They can't just reach out and talk to him whenever they want to. How are your children doing with this? You there, Michelle? Yeah, give me one second. Okay, take your time, baby. You all make sure that you're sharing this out, please. Make sure that you share this with each and every person that you know. So we have Michelle on the line. Okay, click like and share. Chef Donna, thank you for coming in, baby. I appreciate you so much. Shout out to you. We're going to give Michelle a few minutes so she can get it back there, but please make sure that you all are sharing this, okay? <clears throat> Please make sure that you all are sharing this, all right? Actually. I'm sorry. I my no. no, don't apologize. You're fine. You need a few minutes. If we can go to a commercial until you get yourself together, you okay? Oh. Yes. Okay. How about how about we take a how about we take a, a brief intermission, all right? We're going to take a brief intermission so you can gather yourself and then we'll be right back. Okay, Michelle? Okay. Just hold tight. You will hold on for one second. We'll be right back. Hey, Cocktails crew, what's going on? Listen, this is an intermission jet, okay? We are taking a little bit of a break. You can go and take a little bathroom break, go grab a snack. But I wanted to take this time to say thank you for watching today's video. Thank you for actually subscribing to the video. If you're not, what are you waiting for? Like 
subscribe, okay? Um, but thank you to each and every one of you, all, including the churches and the pastors and the deacons and the bishops that follow me. I really appreciate that. Um, I wanted to share with you all my appreciation because a lot of times I'm moving really quickly in the videos. I'm trying to get things done, trying to work on this body. But I'm just letting you know that I it does not go unnoticed, okay, that I appreciate each and every one of you okay. all. And it shows by the algorithm, okay? And also, thank you for sharing me with the aunties because they love your girl cocktails. I want to keep letting y'all know that because it's the truth, okay? Also, I wanted to share with you all that it takes finances to keep this program up and running, okay? And so there's no donation that's too big or small, all right? Now, the big ones, I don't mind those. I really don't, okay? I implore you, if you have the, if you have the means to give to your girl, okay, in an abundance, don't listen let the lord use you okay but there's no donation that's too small either okay so please feel free to consider donating to this channel it's going to help us to get more equipment a better set who knows guys the limit but i want you all to know that it does take that and so any little bit will help or big bang okay praise the lord praise Praise the Lord, I do not turn away a $5,000, $10,000 check. I just don't. So consider giving to this platform. Click the link down below, and I'll see you guys soon on the show. See you soon. Bye. All right, Michelle, you there? All right, Michelle, you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Just wanted to give you a few minutes. I just want to give you a few minutes to gather your thoughts because I know this is a really tough conversation. But, you know, um, as we discussed earlier, I wanted to make sure that we stressed Jason. And I also wanted to make sure that we shared the significance of the relationship with his siblings. We've talked about this here before, how he's missing vital, vital time with you, you know, with your family, with your children. And so... We wanted to, uh, I just wanted to know how are your children doing in his absence and how are they, how are they faring? Um, they mention Jason every day. Mm, 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 mm. And, um, every day and uh, it's at the point where they know if you know they know my moods mm -hmm. they know when it's jason um cree i think out of all the kids cree because they were so close in age they mm -hmm stuff together they were always together you know um they was always up under each other um Cree talks about him a lot more mm -hmm. than the other kids but they're i think they're trying to make the best out of it but they do have moments where they're crying or they just trying to figure out why. Um, Anaya mm -hmm. is more of an introvert. So um, she can come across as nonchalant, but that's not it. She just process, processes her feelings. Right. Mm -hmm. and, but I could tell that it had now come to a point where at the birthday party that I threw that Jason didn't come. Mm -hmm. Um Anaya finally released what she had been bottling up. Wow. And if y'all heard fine. If y'all was to heard how when she finally got it out, it was explosive. Wow. And, um mm. You know, the kids miss their brothers. They they do not wow. see their siblings. Okay, because I had a stillborn birth as well and where I had to bury my son. And um, he died in my womb. I had to push him out and mm. bury him. And 
I really don't ever talk about JD. Mm. But them siblings, if I say I only got five kids, they will correct somebody and say, Mommy, you got six. Don't forget JD. You know, wow. so the, those kids, they had a really close bond with Jason, even though it was years ago, they still have memories too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. They feel like they are being robbed of a brotherhood with their brother. Yeah. And they yeah. don't understand. Mm. I can imagine that it's tough because they're young. You know what I mean? And yeah. and they they don't understand, you know, where you were with the depression and how, you know, unfortunately people came and tried to come in and take advantage of that. Because that's what that is. You know, you mentioned manipulation, but it's also taking advantage of, you know, of someone's vulnerability and someone dealing with depression, especially when you're just, I have a friend that just had a baby. Um, it's a male, but he has his baby mother. And he's talking to me about postpartum. And I said, wait, 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 wait. You don't understand you're not a woman. So yeah. you can't say how she's supposed to feel just giving birth two weeks ago. Oh, and she's like, this is her, her, her fifth baby. And I said, you can't oh. tell her how to feel. Uh -uh. You cannot tell that she woman tell that her. she's not depressed. Yeah. yeah, I said, you can't do that. I said, I understand that you might not like how she is operating right now. But I said, imagine walking around with another life in your body. And then there is the, you know, you, you deliver the child, you've had that bond for nine months, and now you have to get used to this child being on the outside. I said, that's, it's a, it's a shock for, for a lot of women. And yeah. so you, you can't say what women go through. Yeah. Um, and so she took advantage of your vulnerability, you know, and unfortunately, you know, we are still in the fight, which is why I just posted your cash app. Thank you. Because we want people, absolutely. Um, you know, we are all about justice for Jason over here. We've been like this <clears throat> since I found out about it. Since my first live stream where I was I was dumbfounded and confused. I did not know nothing about you. And I was like, I don't want no crying over here. I told you what I said. But I said, this is a serious situation. This is this woman's child. And just because I don't have children and I might not understand completely, because I don't, I don't understand everything. I and, and being in a position of not being able to carry or have children, I still would not do this. This yeah. right here is not something that I could see myself doing uh, if, you're, if you're talking about operating in integrity, right? There's mm -hmm. a certain level of integrity that you have to have as a person, period, that mm -hmm. you just do not cross different lines. And, you know, to <clears throat> watch a child is one thing. But to obtain them improperly is something completely different. And it's about his life and what he's missing. This is not about us, right? Mm -hmm. You're fighting for your son, but this is about you and Jason. Jason is the most important part of this entire story. He is the most important part of this entire story. And I wanted to make sure that we stress that tonight. Mm -hmm. Say it again, baby. I said absolutely. The most important part. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so Kimberly's asking, is this for the this is for everything? This is for the lawyers. This is for she has people that are working behind the scenes. Um, Michelle is diligently working behind the scenes to get her child back. And yes, the legal way. All right. And her and I are working on something behind the scenes too that y'all don't need to know nothing about. Praise the Lord. Just know. <laughs> They were I working. Can't even tell you how much. <laughs> you know, because even if nobody helps you, you gotta keep fighting. So you know. Yeah. You gotta keep fighting. You gotta keep fighting. You do. You do. I'm not stopping until my child is home. In my care, custody, and control. I'm not unfit. I'm not unstable. I'm not homeless. I'm not carless. I'm not jobless. I'm not mm -hmm. any of those things, you know? Mm -hmm. 
I have my other children. If I can't support one, I can't support all of them. Right. And you have custody of all four of your other children. I, I, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and she talks to them often. If I talk to her on the phone, the children are not far behind her unless they're in school. Okay. Period. So I hear the I've I've heard the children. The children are there. Yes, okay. they live they live under my roof in my house. Well, I, I don't like to say my house with them. I say our house because it's their right. Right. Um, but we hear it, so I can say my house. Um and as a single mom, you know, yes. the only outside of my honey, G. The only man that they can tell you they've seen was was their father. Right. Okay, so I'm not even, like, I'm all the way fit, baby. I don't have them mm -hmm. strangers. I don't let anybody else discipline them. They're not right. introduced to things above their age. My, mm -hmm. my, let me just talk of can I just take a moment? Sure, go ahead. Knock it against me. And it's all about Jason, but I just want people to understand the type of mother and the type of parent that I am. Because people keep saying, oh, you wasn't fit. No, I've always been fit. Mm -hmm. I've always been capable of taking care of my children, regardless of where I was at mentally. Mm hmm. My my oldest daughter is 16. She's a virgin. She's in high school. She's graduating this year. She'll be finishing December. Okay. Oh, wow. She's 3.5 GPA. Oh, wow. She's really smart. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you should put yourself on the back. When True. I was, 16, I was pregnant. My daughter has never had a boyfriend. My mm -hmm. daughter says, Mama, they annoy you when they get in my nerves or say something I don't like, I block them. She doesn't mm -hmm. even give it the time of day. And I just remember when I was pregnant with her, I prayed a prayer and I said, Lord, I just want to break this generational curse on my family with my children. Yeah. With my child. My mama was 16 when she had my sister mm -hmm. and Anaya had superseded all she you know not even just the whole keeping her stuff and not a teen pregnancy just everything yeah and, yeah and that's a testament to my motherhood that's a testament to the goddess and leadership under my household yes I had help Yes, I had a village, mm -hmm. but I'm, but I'm the head. Absolutely, you know. And even my other children, my Cree is a ten year old through and through. She's not a ten year old trying to be fast. Right. Be Thirteen and sixteen, she has her friends that's in her age group. She loves everything girly. Everything is mm -hmm. girly. Jaden, in true fashion, is mm -hmm. his father's child. But even with being his father's child, he is an 11-year-old boy. Yeah. Liam is a 7-year-old child. He don't care nothing about nothing but football and making good grades. Because right. he doesn't got to make good grades. My children are a true testament to the prayer that I prayed. Because I didn't know anything about motherhood. God had to show me and walk with me. That's right. You know, so that's a lot of part of the reason why I have a lot of agony and pain as well, because I know I'm not a manipulator. I know I'm not a liar. I know I'm going to be honest with my child and for my child to be in that type of environment. That plays mm -hmm. a lot, too, on the emotional turmoil that goes on with me, you know, and I just need my baby home just yeah. all the way around. I just need him home. Absolutely. And you have, listen, you have people 
praying. When I tell you I get calls, and I'm not talking about text messages, I'm not talking about DMs on Instagram, phone calls of people telling me that they have prayer groups dedicated to you. I have people in my Patreon who, because of your story, after 20 years of being at a church, left. They said I can with I they said I could not live with myself knowing that this is going on. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> they pray for you, they ride for you, they are um go, they, they're going to God and interceding on your behalf daily for this to come back for for Jason to come back home to you and your children. That's not an understatement. Um, they keep me posted. You know what I'm saying? Even, although you and I are friends on Facebook, you know, people know I'm not on Facebook like that. I've been trying to get you over here to YouTube forever. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm Girl, get on over there to YouTube. Sure, you can do both. Okay. But anyway, I'm fussing again. But, um, what you say, baby? I live such a private life, right? Before. Mm -hmm put in a name to this yeah i've been a private person my whole life um people didn't even know i was pregnant when i was carrying children they found really? out yes they found out once i posted a video or picture online i just have always been that way just very private very reserved so yeah. you know i didn't really do social media a lot i might get mm -hmm. on but I, I, I'm not a person, or I wasn't a person that always had her phone in her hand, you know? Yeah. Too. So it's been a huge transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet. Mentally, because now there's no way I cannot be online. Yeah. Be online. Because I have to keep it in people's face that is bring Jason home until Jason is home. Yeah. You yeah. know? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is why we, we've been talking about it still here. Every little time if you post something, I, we've, I think we've covered <clears throat> the situation with Monet. I don't know if you knew that part. You ain't got to go back and watch it, we, but we covered it because I was about to tax somebody's tail. Uh, we covered her when if she posts something on some some subliminal stuff, you know. But I I, I, I won't lie. Say it again. I'm blocked. Well, I'm not. I am not blocked. I am restricted <clears throat> because she knows that I have a personal page and I have a catfish page, so she can't get rid of me. But I don't go looking. That's the thing. I, I'm yeah. to the point now where I don't even look anymore. Let's say I go online and I see that you posted something. I might take a screenshot and then I'll come on here and I'll talk about it. Um, I just I want to make sure that people still know that this is still going on. We're throwing subliminal messages about the situation, about your child. I think she posted something. I put it in my Patreon. She posted something about. Hold on. It was a, a screenshot. This it was a something that she had put on. Hold on. She posted a couple of weeks ago. I don't invite people into my kids' life who don't ask about them. Just different posts, right? That she put on her story. What? This okay. is what this is, I got. This from your page. It's a screenshot. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a screen. It's, yeah, it's a screenshot. Oh, and so we'll we'll come on and talk about it. Because I want people to know what's going on, that this is still a thing. And um, we we need Jason back with you. It's ultimately the reason why we're talking about it. Um, and so I hope to goodness that you all that are watching, I'm looking at my other phone to make sure that to, to make sure I'm looking at the comments. But I hope that those of you all who are watching and you all are touched by the story, that you consider donating to Michelle, okay? They're asking where the money is going. The money is going to her legal fund. She has to pay an attorney. She has people that are working behind the scenes. Uh, you know, she is a one woman show. If she doesn't have help, she's all by herself. Okay. And so we really need for you all. I'm stressing it. I don't ask you all for much. Time I went to trial, I represented myself. Wow. I cannot do that. No, 
No, you can't. No, no. And we don't want you to do that. So, let's... so I'm stressing to you all, you know, I don't ask you all for much. I do not. I do not. Um, I stress to Michelle this morning, this morning and this afternoon, the, the main thing is Jason, and we're going to keep it about Jason. And so if you all have a heart, I would just ask you all to please consider donating to her. Um, this is not going to go to her bills. This is not going to her children. This is going to the legal fund. Okay? The legal. Period. This is going to the legal fund. When she uh, got donations for his birthday party, <clears throat> I saw when she, you turned the camera to show people where the donations went. You had a, a goodie table, you had food, you had gifts for the other kids. You put the money to work and you showed them exactly where their money went. You have integrity. And Absolutely. so, yeah. You said, this is not even about, this is, this is about Jason, you know, this, and, this is about Jason. Yeah. Yeah. And it, I, I'm sorry. No, take your time. All of her links are in my description, you guys. So she does have a GoFundMe page. She has a Cash App. They're all in the description box down below. Okay. If you're on your phone, you just hit the button to go to X out, go to the description, click on it. The links are there. Okay. I made sure to put them in the description earlier. You can also Cash App her right there, 11 the first. You will see her beautiful face on the profile picture. And that's where you could donate. All right. But this is all I about donate to Cash App. I send it. I send it straight to the lawyer. I don't even keep it in there. I send it straight because I'm not going to be irresponsible of my fight to get my son back. Right. I'm not. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. We're keeping the main thing the main thing, and that is for you to get your son back by any means necessary. Like I told you earlier, we don't want to be here next year, okay? We no. do not want to be here okay. next year. Seven is the number of completion. Eight is the number of new beginnings. So if, you know, I, I, not even if, I'm going to trust and believe God to, um, Give me a M Moses ending. Yes. Yes. Is there anything you want to share before we log on off? Any any last words? Any then you want to share to the audience about why this is so important? It's important because it's so many. It's so many mothers and even fathers. Mm -hmm. have been ripped out of their kids' lives, who have been alienated from their kids' lives for doing nothing wrong. Yeah. It's many different scenarios and situations that this has happened. I'm not the only one, but what I can tell you is, um, it's different when it's on this level mm -hmm. of people you're fighting against and that you're dealing with. And it is a long, hard journey that requires endurance and patience. Yeah. And, um, I just want to say that it's important because my son, Jason, is in a place where he um, is not supposed to be. He's in a place with a woman who has manipulated her way into her false motherhood. It's important because I am 
a mother who never even wanted to give her son up. Yeah. And you just don't do people like that. It's important yeah. because to hold people accountable and responsible. People get away with what they do, no matter how much in power they are, because it's people mm -hmm. that are willing to be paid off. It's people that are willing to turn a blind eye, turn the other cheek, don't even entertain it. There's people willing to say, well, he still preach a good message or she still preach a good message. It's people that don't want to hold people accountable and responsible. And you have yeah. to be accountable responsible for the things that you do in life you know even yeah. god is going to judge you when you are day to meet him at the gates to say if you yeah. go up or go down you know so you, you have to hold people accountable and responsible it's important because justice should be served all across the board it's important mm -hmm. because it wasn't right it's important because i'm a mother and i'm suffering for the seed god gave me that i birthed into this world it's important because the seeds of that seed his siblings are suffering mm -hmm. or in yeah. pain important because yes. it's right and it wasn't done integral it's important because they Jason got a whole bloodline. Yeah. That he needs that to know. That he yeah. needs to know. That he's been kept away from. Not because they are bad people. Not because they are people that are on drugs or that is crazy, that is wild, that is out here in these streets. But simply because a woman just don't want to do what's right and what's just. Not for yeah. any other reason. Even if you didn't give me give me him back to have cut, you still won't even allow me to be a part of his life. Mm. Wow. That's why it's important. I can't even get a phone call. This, this is why it's important. This is why I'm going to the law and I'm going to keep fighting the law. And if I had to take mm -hmm. it higher than state i'm going to take it higher than state this is why it's mm -hmm. important yeah i can't even get her Talk to answer her. sorry i'm getting mad but no, i can't no, even go get ahead. her no, 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 no. go 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 to go a say it. Say it all of it. Me, after you can let me see my son for his birthday and then you just take mm -hmm. him back away from me this is why it's important mm -hmm. Do you know the agony? Do you know the pain that that caused not just on me, but on his siblings? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and I and actually my heart like that like that shit is not cool. Like I gotta get my baby. Mm -mm. Can I say this too? Also, <clears throat> well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave. It. <laughs> but I, I I know that to be true. I know that to be true. I I know that to be true. Yeah. That she that she tries yeah. to call. The she kids, tried to call for them. The kids call. I call. Oh, it ain't no secret. I call them all the time when I'm on live. Sometimes. Well, I didn't. You know, I didn't want to. Okay. All right. I didn't yeah. know, so I didn't want to overset my boundary. I, I yes, because I want people to know this is real life, y'all. Y'all keep making excuses yeah. for these people. Yeah. And but this is really what's going on. This is not a saga. This is not a lifetime. I mean, it might be a comparison, but this is real life going on. This, this is a, yeah. Publicly, publicly going on since May 18th of 2022. Come on now. Like, this is what's going yeah. on. And I'm sounding a little aggressive right now. Please don't take it the wrong way. I'm just. Oh, no, you're fine. I am in a fight of my life. And I am in a fight for justice to rain down for what was done illegally to me. 
and mm-hmm. my son is taken from not just me but his siblings and his family yeah and it's important and i need help because i can't do yeah. it on my own it's an expensive fight because of who i'm dealing with um yeah and I just refuse refuse to have the same progress that I had in 2018, which was no progress. Yeah. Well, listen, we see the fight. Okay, you're not by yourself. We're gonna be praying for you again. I know people that are praying behind the scenes. And let me just say this to the to the audience today. We were talking on the phone, and I I heard her try to call myself. I heard her try to call the phone. Can I say that, Michelle? Mm-hmm. Okay. I heard it with my own ears. And nobody picked up the phone. I heard it for myself. Okay? Voice. So this is this is serious. The voice of didn't come on, no. No, because I heard the 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 iPhone beep, beep, beep. So that meant somebody picked it up and hung it up. Yeah. Yeah, I I caught that. I heard it. Yeah, somebody might picked it up and hung up. So she definitely tried to call today. Um, she's been trying to call since she saw him back in May. This has been ongoing, and you have not heard from him since. When was the last time you talked to him? Was it May or was it after the party? July fourteenth. So okay. after May, June came. I didn't talk to him. Mm-hmm. The whole- the whole month of June until July 14th. Mm-hmm. From July 14th to now, I have not spoken to him. Have not seen him. And your children have not either? No. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> this is where we are. Kids, they, the kids went from playing Roblox with him every day or every other day to... Now he's not playing. And that really meant Jada and Creo. You know what I'm saying? They take it every day just to see if he's on there, if, if he gets on there. And that's what let me know, you know, that how they are being affected by it. Right. 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 Because they're looking forward to playing the game with him. And he's not even logging off to play the game. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope and pray <clears throat> that you all heard. I'm, uh, Michelle, thank you for coming on. And hopefully you'll be able to come back and give us an update. Okay? You're welcome here at any time. Mm-hmm. You're probably the only person that's allowed all the time. <laughs> you can come anytime that you want to to give any updates that you want to let us, you know, let us know something to get the word out, however, however you want to do it. You know, I'm a phone call away. Um. But I hope and pray that you all heard her heart tonight, that you um, will also follow her on social media. She goes live all the time, especially on Facebook. That's her main place to go live on Facebook. So I hope that you all can follow her on Facebook to keep abreast. She gives updates on Facebook. So please follow her, Michelle Loud, excuse me, on Facebook. Um, And I hope that you all can donate, donate something. Okay, I'm stressing it. I don't ask y'all for nothing. But I'm I'm asking you to please get. Yeah, please, please donate. And she said it goes right to her legal fund. It goes straight, straight to the legal funds. It doesn't go anywhere else. If I need donations for something else, I'm going to say it. Like, when we were getting his shit. Hey, this is for Jason's shoes. This is for Jason said he wants an Xbox or whatever. I'm going to mm-hmm. say what it's for, and then I'm going to show you right. this is, is going here. And and you mostly go live on Facebook to, to show your followers where everything is going, right? That's what you do? Oh, yeah, I go live. When I, yeah, I go live. Okay. I just had to be quiet about the because you can't expose your hand right you can't say everything you yeah. know so when it comes to 
what I can tell you is everything that's given towards the legal fight of Jason goes to the legal team that's working with me. Yeah. Without a question, without a doubt, without anything. Please keep us posted. I'm going to have you stay on. I'm going to put you backstage and then we'll do a debrief. But I wanted to make sure that the people saw you and I hope that they give to you. So please, y'all, if you can, okay? Like she said, she don't care if it's 50 cents, $2. Listen, I'm going to ask for more. $10, $20, okay? Please make sure that you all support this young woman. She's modest. I'm not. <laughs> I go look. I go straight for Give her $10, $20, $50, 100 okay? Make sure that she has something to give to her legal fund. Uh, her and I will also be working on some things behind the scenes. And I put it out yesterday. If you all know anybody, okay, I want to know anyone that's in the Texas area. I did have a call today with somebody, but we're not going to talk about that public, publicly. Um, but please make sure that you all send me a message. Send it to me. I need to vet them. I want to make sure that they're not in the bed with anybody so that we can try to get her son home um, expeditiously. All right. This is a serious fight that she's fighting. This is not child's play. This is serious. And so we're going to treat this as, as something that's serious and we're going to treat it as something that needs to be done as soon as possible. All right. So I hope that you all have an amazing day. Any last words, Michelle? I love y'all. Thank y'all. Bring Jason home. And uh, uh, if you want to order my book, you can go on Amazon.com. It's called Dare to Stand. If you want a hard copy, you can message me on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. Um, I'm working on a new email because the email got hacked. Go figure. And, <laughs> um, but I do have hard copies and um, I do have information on my website um, where it's uh, michellelau.org. And to whoever just donated, I just got the GoFundMe. I haven't looked at it yet. Thank you, and I appreciate you. Thank you all so much. And please keep the donations coming. Okay, if you're watching the replay, okay, we like the kind that folds. Go ahead and send it on over electronically so that she can send it to her legal fund. All right, Michelle, thank you. Yeah, oh, she said, it go fund. Yeah. they said they're going to oh, celebrate the you, victory Michelle. with you. Okay? They're gonna, we're going to celebrate. Call me, me and let's do a debrief. I need to go. Okay. Go ahead. Do your thing, baby. Go ahead. Take okay. care of it. I'll text you in a little bit. I, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And I just want to say, Catrice, thank you so much. All right. You have been a constant consistent support for me even when I'm not even watching and I just want to say that I love you and I appreciate you and I'm grateful because some days I do be feeling like you know nobody cares anymore you know but you are a constant reminder to me that I have this, I got this, and that you really genuinely have my back. And I just appreciate your genuineness and your willingness uh, to stand up for, for what is right. I'm sorry. I love you. No, hey. please. No, I, I <laughs> listen. This is, it's all God. That's all I can say. And we're going to, we're going to fight for you. We're going to ride for you until the wheels fall off. Okay. That's all you need to know that okay. you we want your baby back. So you go ahead and you do your thing. We will talk. Okay. We definitely gonna be okay. talking. <laughs> Love yes, you, okay? Man. Love you too. Bye y'all. So have, right. have a good Friday. <laughs> she is too polite. I promise y'all. Um, listen, y'all, I appreciate you all watching. Um, I appreciate you all for coming on. I know it's two days in a row, but um, I, I didn't want to miss the opportunity after I spoke with her this morning 
to come live and to see what we can do for her, okay? Um, she's just as pleasant as she is online as she is offline. Um, what I was going to say, but I, I'm, I, you know, she's off now, is that if people think that her going off and cursing is a sign of her not loving God and being saved, listen, she's a mother first. She's a woman and a mother first. And I personally cannot imagine going through this life and having, knowing that someone has uh, obtained my child improperly. And so we're going to do whatever we can do to uh, make sure that she gets this baby back. This is a labor of love for all of us, I know. All right. So for those of you who have been in the fight with me, y'all just stay consistent. Shout out to the patrons. Uh, we Oh, patrons. We are having an emergency meeting probably on Sunday. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to go out too late tomorrow night. Okay. I have a little outing planned. But uh, we are going to have an emergency meeting either Sunday or Monday, okay? So I'm letting you all know that um, we need to do our own personal debriefing of what's been going on, all right? Shout out to the people that uh, that uh, signed up last night after the stream because they're being nosy. Shout out to you being nosy. I like nosy people. I might even open up a tier for nosy people, okay? Uh, but we will be doing a follow up in a debrief of what has been already spoken in patreon and what has been confirmed so far right so and i'll get i will be giving you all an update on um michelle as 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 i'm allowed to also um miss i don't know miss bernice is still here she and i'll probably send it to um, michelle also she can have the link um i want them to know what we're talking about and patreon i want nothing to be uh, a secret, all right? They're more than welcome to come in at any time to hear what's going on because I don't I don't believe in talking junk about people behind their back. I want people to know exactly what I'm talking about. So Ms. Bernice and Pops, <laughs> Melissa, Ms. Ben, that Pops over there is something else, okay? Uh, so they are always, I don't know if he came on the last time, Ms. Bernice, let me know. I know she's, my, I think she's still here. Um, but I will be doing it. We'll be doing a debriefing emergency meeting either Sunday or Monday. If it's not going to be Sunday during the day, it's going to be Monday evening. So y'all look out for your Patreon, your Patreon email notifications. If you have left Patreon and you want to come back, the prices went up. I'm not changing it back to $5.97. The new price is $10.90 something. And that's what people will be paying. All right. Because Listen, I try to give you, I try to give the people time to get back in while it was still $5.97. I was going to open it up. But now, what they say, yesterday's price is no longer, it's not today's price. And so in order for you to get back in, you have to pay the upgraded fee. All right. That's for everybody across the board. Hey, Kay, what's going on, baby? I'm over here on YouTube. This is my girl Kay over here on Instagram. She over here being nosy, but it's okay. Um, She is uh, one of the people from another story and then we decided to we clicked on some click on girlfriend stuff and now we we cool so i hope that you all are well the price listen p and two ross said the price is the price which is a way i can't get to it. it is today's price hey girl today's price is not uh yesterday's price it's a different price that's for everybody across the board i listen i, I tried to give people time i gave y'all a whole month well, no, actually a month and a couple of weeks to get back in. Okay, I try to give y'all some time, but I said, you know what? I'm not doing it no more. No, if you want to get in to get to be nosy, come on and be nosy for ten dollars a month. Praise God. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it at that. But I gotta go, y'all, um, because I have some things that I have to do tonight, and I have to get ready for tomorrow. But I love you all for watching. Shout out to the over fourteen hundred people that uh is it now 1500 people yeah we have now have 1500 people <clears throat> that have watched last night's stream uh i i and i thank you to the new subscriber shout out to you all listen i was obedient yesterday let me just tell y'all this y'all gonna hear more about this in patreon go sign up okay if you were there before you left come on back uh I was told, I was given instruction on what to do last night. And I was told that the people would come 
but I had to I had to do it the right way. I had to do it the way that I was given to do it. And this stream has done way better than most of my streams out here. Um, Yobi even messaged me offline like, you see your stream, girl? <laughs> I said, don't let me go and see what's going on, John. What's, what are the people saying? <laughs> so anyway, uh, shout out to you all, those of you all who are new to the new subscribers. I hope that you all are blessed. And I hope that you give, okay? Don't worry about giving to me today. Oh, shout out to DJ. I was thinking for the cash app earlier. Um, but you don't, you have to worry about giving to me. Make sure that you all give to Michelle. That is our focus. And even to Miss Bernice, she's on the line. <clears throat> I'm trying to get them on the line. Okay. We're going to work on it next week though, because I'm going to put a call into them for next week. Um, but we're trying to get donations for both, uh, Michelle and for Brandon. All right. So that we can get some answers. We need to know what is going on with Brandon. Uh, Y'all keep him in prayer. You saw the video from yesterday that he requested trial, as he should. So hopefully uh, God will work on his behalf and he will be free. Praise the Lord. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I got to go. I got to go and, and, uh, and uh, do my thing. But I will see you all later. Listen, hug on someone and love on them today and tell them that you appreciate them. I'll see y'all soon. Bye. <laughs>